So we're going to go ahead and uh, um, clean this up first just because, like say, this one's leaking. In fact, if you want to get a shot on this real quick, take a look at exactly what I'm talking about. See how it's clean here? This is essentially, these are fittings that I'm referring to, right? And there's O-rings in here. Well, that is just a pressed in O-ring and it kind of clips in, which I'll show you here in a moment. But that's where they leak from. So we're going to clean this up for the most part. Then we're going to unscrew everything. And then when we put these new fittings in, you'll find they fit in a little bit tighter. That leak will be gone. Go ahead and get some brake clean and I'm going to clean this up. All right, so first thing we're going to do is just break this loose. Now there's O-rings in these fittings, so that means you don't have to be like an animal um, when you tighten these things up, because all you're doing with the fitting is you're just making sure it doesn't come loose, because there's an O-ring fitting on these lines, so the O-ring actually does all the sealing for you, and the nut basically just keeps it on there. So don't get carried away when, it's, when you're tightening these things. In fact, pretty much recommend in the little in our little uh, package here, we say don't torque more than 20 inch pounds, which 20 inch pounds is just like snug. It's not very much. So you don't need a torque wrench or anything really, but just, just get them snug like no King Kong. I mean, they just don't have to be that tight. Grab your scribe, so a little pointy device, um, screwdriver, anything, pretty much whatever. All you're going to do is take these little clips out, which don't worry about losing them because we give you new ones, but these little clips are what's in here, right? So that just gives you the quick disconnect. So that makes it really easy. But if you pop those out, then you can uh, really easily slide these lines out. And then you're gonna get a little bit of leakage because it's going to, oops, drain the, kind of drain that out. So with the bracket, um, nothing fussy, but a 13 millimeter wrench. We've been draining here for a little bit. Now, little tidbit, if you do have a 69, this would be a perfect opportunity for you to drain your torque converter because the torque converter holds several quarts of fluid. And if you let it drain long enough, you would probably drain, you could probably drain about probably four quarts, four or five, maybe six quarts out of the converter. So. I would recommend that because anytime you can get oil out of your tranny and put new fluid in it, you're always better off. So this would be a good opportunity to do that because there is no drain in the torque converter. So just a little tidbit, there was a common to leak and this is going to be your crimp on connection. So this line is just basically an O-ring seal on both of these and just make sure there's no scarring on them, which typically you're not going to see scarring, but if you do, you know that the O-ring's not going to seal up. But this guy, the way it fits in, so in this case, here's our fit, here's our block, right? That's what came out. And you'll see the piece inside here that creates the problem, all the bypassing issues, and they, it just sticks, which is no, no surprise because the converter is generally what drops material out of the tranny because it takes all the abuse. And of course, it goes right out of the converter, it goes right into this valve, it sticks the valve, and then you're gonna overheat. So really low mileage, it's just, just a bad design. So this is our factory one. This is what we're going to put into it. As you'll see in this case, we're going to add our fittings to it. I'm going to screw those in like so. Now don't be confused, for those of you that maybe were not listening to me earlier, but you're going to have an extra piece, right? This is for the 68 RFE or the 545 only. It's not for the ASIN. This is the part that melts inside the transmission when it gets hot, that when you do your transmission service, you're going to replace your plastic piece with this one. It goes right inside the tranny. It holds the filter on. So the case, the filter it holds in. This comes with the kit. No additional charge. If you want to buy one of these separately, they're 33 bucks. This still has a retail of 110 or 100, 100 bucks, whatever it is. Um, this comes with it, no additional charge. So when you open this, this will be in there. Okay. If you've previously purchased one of these blocks from us, you have receipt of it. I will give you one of these. Just call me. I'll give it to you for free, $33 part. You just pay for shipping. And when you're there, we can hook you up with a filter and a pan as well if you want one. But So the big thing is, remember when I said torquing it, right? So let's use our 
normal crescent wrench here. Your torque is going to be just about, just like that, just firm, right? Because you have an O-ring in there, so the O-ring is doing all the work. You're not going to have to worry about that thing leaking if it's loose because the O-ring is sealed up, just like these four guys. So now that we're ready to go, you'll also see cooler in, cooler out, trans in, trans out. Pretty much put the writing down like so, and you're good to go. So now all you have to do is just clip them in. It's that easy. These plastic little pieces go over it, and then the cooler line goes in, and then the plastic piece basically just holds the clip so it doesn't pop out and it makes the fittings like literally bulletproof. So all you gotta do is just clip it in. I mean, literally is that easy. Then you're gonna take these two and you're gonna slide them in, just line them up. And then before you bolt anything in, just kind of jiggle it around, get these thing, guys going in nice and easy. You know, you don't need a wrench. I mean, you're just gonna kind of wiggle them. You know, don't be afraid to wiggle it because as you wiggle it, you're gonna take stress off of it and it's gonna allow these threads to just line right up. You know, last thing you ever want to do is put a wrench on something like this and cross thread it. You know, then you're going to have to buy new lines and possibly a new block. And you don't want to do that. So now I've got those finger tight to where I can't pull, you know, move them anymore. And now I'm going to put my crescent wrench on this block or your one inch, whatever you got. And you're just going to bring them down and you just snug them up. It's just about like that. Say nothing, uh, nothing major. It's uh, I would rather them be on the loose side than too tight. And then you're gonna take your half inch and you're gonna drop your, put your screw back in, which that is your mounting block screw that holds it, secures it, the cooler lines to the tranny so it doesn't rattle around. And like I say, most of that you can just bring in by hand. And that one, again, just tighten it up. Then you have, you're done. It was that easy. So, see what happens here. Your fluid comes out of the torque converter. It goes through this block. It goes up to the cooler. 100% of it goes up to the cooler. It comes back, it goes through the block, and it goes right back into the transmission and lubricates your gear set. And now, what you can be assured of is your gear set in the transmission will be cooled with not only cool fluid, but it will be lubricated with nice uh, new fluid because all of it's going through the cooler instead of bypassing in the block. So really big deal, super easy. Um, you know, can't say much more about it than a piece of cake. And you know, you go to atsdiesel.com, um, order on our website. You can go to any of our distributors. Um, they have them on the shelf. It's easy to get, place a call and stay tuned to our YouTube station and uh, come back for more.